Hey folks, it's story time with me, Hilary Bolter, member of the MENT, the Motivational Library Network of Trainers. This is a little peek into the world of how my brain works. I was reading this story to my uh, youngest daughter one night and I said, oh my goodness, this is a great example of a lot of sustained talk and then a little bit of change talk. So uh, let me just briefly explain change talk, sustained talk and motivational interviewing. When a client is expressing ambivalence about change and ambivalence is very normal in the change process, we hear two kinds of talk from a client. We hear talk that is supporting staying stuck or the status quo called sustained talk. And we hear talk that is called change talk, which is supporting the change. And that falls into that category of like the client wants to change, they need to change, they could change, they need to, change, you know, but they're not quite there yet. Um, and then when we hear really that uh, mobilizing change talk, that commitment language, then we know that they are ready to move more forward into that change process. So a little bit of story time with me. And this is, um, um, this is not my hat book. <laughs> so the story starts out with a little fishy who is swimming in the ocean. And he says, or she, this hat is not mine. I just stole it. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. But what's happening, right? <laughs> and even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. Hmm. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me who took it. So what are we hearing here? Lots of sustained talk, lots of defensiveness. And this is what we hear from our clients sometimes, right, in the change process. I can't, these things are against me, I don't know, you know, lots of sustained talk. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I'm going. Hmm. But I will tell you where I'm going. I'm going where the plants grow big and tall and close together. It is very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me. There is someone who saw me already, but he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. <laughs> but look what's happening there. So I am not worried about that. I know it's wrong to steal a hat. I know it does not belong to me, but I'm going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. And look, I made it. Where the plants are big and tall and close together. I knew I was going to make it. Nobody will ever find me. Hmm. What's happening here? <laughs> so we can infer what happened, right? Did you catch the change talk? We heard a lot of sustained talk from that little fish who stole that hat. He said he knew it was wrong to steal a hat and he knows it does not belong to me. So one of the artful things we're doing when we're using motivational interviewing is we're listening for that change talk that is buried amidst the sustained talk. And we are reflecting that back and we're asking for more about that, right? So a reflection might be to those little fish who stole the hat. You really wanted this hat and you know it wasn't yours and you know it was wrong to take, right? So we wanna reflect that change talk and then ask more about it. What might you do to make this right?
and sort of guide that person towards what it is they know inside, help them resolve that ambivalence, sort of do the right thing. So happy story time with me today. You got a little peek into how I work and how I think. So hope you enjoyed that and hope it clarified change talk versus sustain talk. Y'all take care.